Hey everybody, uh, my name's Arrow, I'm a little bit sick, and uh, I'm in a different room, so that's exciting. Um, it's, I mean, I still have my regular room, and no one's mowing the lawn today, so that's good too. Okay, so today I wanted to do the gender tag. Um, yeah, because I think it's necessary, and, well, not necessary, I can do whatever I want, but I think it'd be good, so let's do that. Uh, number one, how do you self-identify your gender, and what does that mean to you? So, I identify as agender, um, I don't feel like I have a gender, I don't feel a connection to the gen- like, to, to gender in general. I also identify as non-binary, um, because I'm, like, not male or female. Um, not so much gender queer, but I do, you know, I guess, a little bit. But, and trans, I, I identify as transgender as well, so, uh, that just means that I'm not the gender I was assigned at birth. Um, but yeah, agender. But I think it's really weird because it means to me, like, that I'm not connected to the- to any gender, whether it be male, female, or uh, an other. Like, I'm just not any of those. It, but it's strange because I still have connections through masculinity and femininity and gender presentation and- and, like, uh, dysphoria, I guess, too. So, we'll get into that later, but... Yeah, it's kind of interesting, um, the way that my gender works, but I don't- they, those are the things, they don't have to do with my gender, it's just separate aspects of me, because my gender doesn't exist, because I just feel very separate to it, and I feel like I'm looking in when I'm learning about the concept of gender, which is something I'm very interested about. Alright, long one question. Uh, number two, what pronouns honor you? Uh, I go by the pronouns they, them, theirs, uh, they just feel more right. I also am okay with any other neutral pronouns, but, like, uh, she, her pronouns make me feel absolutely awful, makes me feel like I'm being, like, stabbed. Um, and then he, him pronouns are kind of weird and just, like, not right, but sometimes strangers, it's, it's fine. And I, I kind of like being misgendered as male by strangers more because it's just a lot of people misgender as female and you get really sick of it. Um, alright. Um, but yeah, they, them, theirs. It's pronouns I like. Uh. Describe um, your most often worn clothing style. That's not the way it's worded in the original or other gender tag videos. Um, my style, I would say, is definitely androgynous. I love androgyny. It, I'm passionate about it. Uh, androgynous or masculine, um, nerdy. Uh, I like wearing a lot of nerdy t-shirts. Uh, pretty much just what I wear. Or, and bow ties, I like bow ties, I make bow ties, bow ties are cool. Um, and, uh, um, yeah, and a little bit hipstery, I guess, but, uh, but yeah, nerdy, androgynous, artist, arty, artsy, uh, quirky, uh, a little bit punk, I got my spacers, stuff like that, um, yeah. Uh, t number four, talk about body hair styling, sh shave or not to shave, uh, different parts of your body. Uh, I style my hair, I have it shaved along the back and the sides, and I like to blend it a little bit, and then I have the top, and I have, like, a natural curly wave that kind of goes on in the front. My mom cuts my hair, actually, uh, but, cause I have to get it cut about every three weeks. Um, in regards to shaving, I don't naturally grow facial hair, and I'm not on any hormones, so it doesn't happen for me. Um, body hair, I have leg hair. Hold up. It's beautiful. I've had leg hair for a while. Um, well, not, not that long, probably about a year-ish. And I, I like having leg hair and I've become a lot more comfortable with myself and having it. Um, Although I still feel self-conscious sometimes, but I will wear shorts in public and stuff and with people who I know I haven't talked about my gender or anything like that. Um, I do have armpit hair. That's why I wore this. I was wearing a different shirt and then I decided to wear this badly cut off, uh, cut off shirt to show you my armpit hair. So I have armpit hair. It's, uh, pretty chill. I like it. Um, I mean, I, I don't really feel, I kind of feel indifferent about it, but I like not having to shave. And I find that easy and convenient, and I like fucking gender roles, and uh, I'm trying to get more confidence around my body and being like, hey, 
I don't care what anyone thinks. I'm this is my body. It's the way it naturally is. So screw you, uh, and and screw that judgment from people. So I'm still not very comfortable showing my armpit hair in public. Like I haven't really worn a tank top or something that really shows it. But I'm getting more comfortable with that, and I. I'm going to allow myself to shave it if I so desire once I've worn tank top to go see friends and been in public and um, shown my armpit hair. So that's when I'll do that and then I might shave, but I might not because I don't really care and I might just keep it. Alright. It's kind of a challenge to myself. Um, to talk about cosmetics, um, makeup, nail paint, uh, soaps and perfumes. Alright. Um, don't wear makeup. Um, I've considered doing it for a more androgynous look with dressing really masculinely and wearing makeup, but like, I don't really care about it and I find it nice on other people, but I don't find any desire to put it on myself for that, other than for like drama performances. Uh, it's just I don't really care and I don't feel any interest in that and I never really have. Uh, and I've never really worn makeup. Um, and... Nail paint. I do paint my nails occasionally. I just started doing that because I think I feel more comfortable in my masculinity that I can be more comfortable being more feminine. So I started painting my nails a few times. I've done it like twice for fingered nails. Um, and I also did it based off the show The Fosters. I made like the dark blue and then like war paint. It was, it was good. I enjoyed it. That show was fantastic. Um, um, soaps and perfumes. I don't really use any perfumes. Uh, if I'm wanting to be fancy, I might put a little bit of vanilla behind my ears or like on my wrist. Like actually like vanilla ac extract because I like it. I find it pretty neutral and I just generally enjoy the smell of it. Uh, I smell like cookies. <laughs> and uh, mm, uh, soaps, I use a body wash from Aveeno and it's just kind of like a basic uh skincare thing uh itch thing i don't know i'd have to find it but i uh use it because i have problems with ex eczema and i like the smell of it too it smells really like kind of like oats and it's just i like the smell of it it's all clean uh i use deodorant i use baby powdered scented dove uh it's kind of more feminine kind of neutral it, again it just smells clean to me um and i like it I'd like to change deodorants to something that's a little bit more environmentally friendly because that's something I'm passionate about um, and maybe, you know, it doesn't have like aluminum in it, um, the better for my body, but you know, I like Dove and it works well for me, so whatever. Um, da, 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 da. I've got like a little, by the way, if you're, if you're wondering what I'm reading, I've got all the questions on here. Um, six, have you experienced being misgendered? If so, how often? Um, yes, every second of the day. Uh, not every second of the day, I spend a lot of time alone. Um, <laughs> uh, um, I get misgendered very frequently because I'm agender, uh, and so people don't really think about that. People don't assume people are non-binary. Um, be from strangers, you know, everyone misgenders me. Sometimes people, you know, are polite and they don't know what to do. <laughs> Well, I'm androgynous too, so they're like, oh, they, uh, because they just like are, oh, go see that, um, uh, uh, person. But yeah, I don't mind being, I, I hate being misgendered, uh, in public, I mind being misgendered male less than being misgendered female, um, just because I don't like it, because also people in my life who know my gender, who have known my gender for a long time, will misgender me as female, or if I go to a, uh, family thing, they'll misgender me as female a lot because I'm AFAB, so, like, um, that's hard. Assign female, female at birth, but, um, so yeah, that's difficult, uh, and it sucks and it hurts a lot because I just want to be me, but, you know, whatever, uh, I have people who support me and who gender me properly, so that, it means a lot to me. Um, do you experience dysphoria? How does it affect you? Uh, I experience social and body dysphoria. So social dysphoria for me is like feeling like, oh, you can't actually exist. This can't be your actual identity, but I feel this way. So I can't, I feel uncomfortable being misgendered male or being misgendered female or, or looking at myself in that way. Um, so 
like, uh, yeah, it's hard in society because I, I question my gender a lot being like, oh, this can't be valid, but there's no other way it could be because I can't. I just feel this way, you know? I know I feel this way. Um, but yeah, so I feel like sometimes I'm like, you know, there's no representation, so I feel like I'm a freak or like I feel like I'm alone, but I know that's not true and I have my community pull me up, but yeah. Uh, and then body dysphoria, I have. It's weird because I'm agender, so you would be like, oh, you don't have a gender, why do you experience body dysphoria? But like my body dysphoria is really weird. It's not related to my gender as much. It's not like, oh, I know that it's gonna make me more valid or less valid because I know sex and gender don't have to do with each other, but I just experience it every anyway. I experience chest dysphoria. I bind my chest. Who <sighs> bind my chest? I got my binder, D2CB. Binder, love it. Uh, it works well. I also have an underworks binder that's long, tanked up style. Um, it's less comfortable, but sometimes it feels better to actually touch it, but... <laughs> uh, and yeah, I experience justice for you. Sometimes it's really bad and 